Hi, dancers. This is Miss Marley, and this is your beginning advanced ballet class. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and start at the bar. So make sure you have something that you can lean on. We're not really leaning, but we could help with our warm up. Yeah, so you could use a table, a bed, your kitchen counter, a couch, anything. Yeah, but make sure you have something to put your fingers on. Yeah, two fingers. We're gonna start off with our forced starch, yeah? So forced starch means to force your arch, yeah? Pushing over the balls of those feet, yeah? So we're gonna start in sixth position, which means our feet are together, squeezed together all the way, yeah? Both hands on the bar. We're gonna do a nice demi-plie. My ankles are still down, yeah? From there, we're gonna push those ankles up as tall as we can. That's your forced arch. And then you're gonna straighten your legs up to a nice releve and gently release your feet down, yeah? We're gonna do that about four times, yeah? So demi, for starch, releve, and relax. Demi, for starch, releve, relax, yeah? We'll do that four times. Then after that, we're gonna reverse it. So the whole thing, but backwards. So we go releve, all the way up, for starch, Good, then we relax those heels down to our demi-plie and we're gonna straighten those legs. So one more time, uh, when it's reversed, it goes releve, forced arch, demi-plie, and straight, yeah? All right, let's go ahead and try it with music. Here we go. Go. Demi, starch. Good, that's one. Demi. That's two. Three. Good, now reverse it, releve up. Force. Roll those shoulders back and back again. Good. And let's roll them forward. Good. Go ahead and shake it out. Okay, good dancers. Beautiful. All right, next we're going to work on those demi plie releves. Yeah? A demi plie is a small bend, right? And a releve. You're going from a bend all the way up to the balls of those feet, yeah? So releve is to rise up. So we're gonna do 30. Demi plie, releve. Demi plie, releve. Making sure when you do your demi plie that your knees are pushing over your feet and that they're not rocking forward, yeah? That can actually hurt your knees later on, yeah? On your releve, I should see all the way straight legs and also, I don't wanna see this booty sticking out. I wanna see it tucked under. Yeah, squeezing that belly button. All the way straight legs at the highest releve you could go, yeah? So we're gonna do it 30 times. On number 30, we're gonna let go of the bar. Hold those arms in first position, yeah? On ba. Here we go. And first position. Good. Hands on the bar. We go. Demi. Up.
up. Fifteen. Good. Halfway there. Very good. Almost there. Demi and up. Demi, hold it. Pull those arms up. Good, and go ahead and relax. Beautiful dancers. Good job. All right, next, we're gonna work on our demi plies and our grand plies, yeah? So demi, we said earlier, it means a small bend. And a grand plie is a very big bend, right? So. I'm gonna come over here now. We're gonna be doing both sides, yeah? So we're gonna start in first position. Our arm opens up, seven, eight. The combination is two demi plies and one grand plie, yeah? So the first demi plie, I want you to drop that arm all the way down. Very good. The next demi plie, we're gonna pull it up to our belly button and open it back out to the side. Beautiful. And on your grand plie, I want you to lift up just a little bit and push those knees out to the side. Good, now to stand up, we talk about this all the time. I want you to push those heels and ankles down towards the floor. Very good. And from there, we're gonna eleve, yeah? So the difference between a releve and an eleve is super important. For a releve, you're starting at a demi, and then you're gonna straighten. But an eleve comes from straight legs. So we're already in first position, and all we're gonna do is push. Very good, just like that. So, after first position, we're gonna open up to second position. We're gonna go demi plie, demi plie, grand plie, and then you're pushing those feet against the floor for your eleve to come back down. After second position, we're gonna round de jambe that foot all the way to fourth position, yeah? You go demi plie, demi plie, Ground plie all the way down, pushing those knees out to the side, making sure my weight's right in the middle. Then we stand up and elevate. And then we go to fifth position. Demi plie, demi plie, ground plie all the way down. Then we're gonna elevate. And from there, we're gonna squeeze our ankles together to create our susu, yeah? So susu, you're squeezing in fifth, but your ankles are pressed against each other, yeah? You're gonna pull those arms up on O, and I want you to hold that susu. From here, since this is beginning advanced, we're gonna go ahead and do our susu today, yeah? So the susu, you're in susu, and you're turning towards the bar to go to the other side, yeah? Making sure your arms don't move, your legs don't move. The only thing that's doing is your feet are pushing against the floor to turn all the way around, yeah? It's a half turn, yeah? Thumbs up. All right, here we go. First position, standing up nice and tall. Put that arm up to the side. We go. Demi. Keep those legs straight and elevate. Can you challenge yourself? Take your arm off the bar. Good. Come down and turn do that foot out to the side. Point it. Beautiful. And down. Good. Demi. Good dancers, arms up. Good, go ahead and come down. Point that foot, one de jambe, to your fourth. Good, Demi and stretch. Follow that hand with your leg. Good, right. 
this up. Really good. Put that arm out to the side. Beautiful. Ankles down. Point to your fifth position. Ah. Then make a diamond with those knees. You got knees out. Go. Squeeze those ankles together. Very good. And arm up. Shoulders down. Chin up. Squeeze that belly. Very good. And sit to now. Beautiful. Good job. All right. Just a reminder. We talk about this all the time. Yeah, especially in my classes. When you're doing any type of dancing, yeah, whether it's tap, Ballet especially, yeah, when we're doing the bar, it's not just our bottom half that's dancing. Don't forget about your arms, yeah, and your chest, and your neck, and your chin, and your smile, okay? So, when we're doing our demi plies, always follow that hand, yeah? Like you're telling a story. So we go, demi plie, demi plie. And I'm lifting up with my whole entire body, yeah? It's not just about working on our legs, yeah? That's why bar is actually really hard and you should be sweating by the first combination you do at the bar because you're working everything in your body at all times, yeah? All right, let's try your other side. So first position, and you're gonna lift this arm up, yeah? Your outside arm. Here we go. Up if you'd like a balance challenge. Good. Come down to first. Beautiful. Anton, do that foot. Beautiful. Jump. Beautiful. Follow that hand and rise up. Pushing against the floor. Pull that arm up. Good. Come down. Push. Round the jambe. Turn that foot all the way out. Good. Down. Stretch. Lift up. Round. Beautiful. Push those knees out. And this down. And rise. Hold that arm. Beautiful. Angles forward. Good job. And come down. Tondu, drag that foot in, and yummy. Good, watch that hand. And Susu, squeeze arm one, and arm two. Beautiful, and Sutanu, and always land in a position. Yeah, so I'm landing in fifth. Good job, dancers. All right, take a deep breath in, a deep breath out. It's time for some tendus and degages, yeah? We might do a little frappe today too. We haven't done that in a while. So we're gonna have both hands on the bar, yeah? I want you to focus for this one on how hard you could point your toe and how straight you could squeeze your whole entire leg, yeah? And that's not just your working leg, this is your supporting leg as well, yeah? We often focus so much on the leg that's doing all the work, we don't give credit for the leg that's helping us balance, right? So we gotta squeeze it. That's how you practice your balance. So, we're in first position, both hands on the bar. We have a tendu en qua. En qua means the shape of a cross, right? So it goes front, side, back, and side. So, we have a tendu to the front, pointing that foot. Tendu's on the floor, yeah? And first. Then we go to the side and first. To the back and first. To the side and first. Good. After that, we have our other foot, yeah? So, our left foot. So, 
en croix to the front and first, to the side and first, to the back and first, side and first. After a tendu, we're going to do our dégagé, which means it lifts out the floor just a little bit. I always tell my kids, if you were to measure your ear, that's how far your foot should come off the floor. Yeah? If you want, you can do this and picture it in your brain. Yeah? So we're going to do a dégagé en croix to the front and first to the side, first to the back, first to the side. Good. Then other foot to the front, first side, first, back, first, side, first. Yeah? From there, we're going to practice our frappes because we haven't done those in a while, yeah? A frappe, you are striking the floor. This is the only time I will say you can have a flex foot in ballet. Your prep is right here, yeah? Kind of like a coupe. And you're striking the floor with the ball of your foot, yeah? So when you do it fast, it sounds like this. Yeah, just a little strike to point that foot. So you're gonna frappe only to the front. Yeah, frappe front and prep. Frappe front, prep, frappe front, frappe front. Yeah, then other foot, we go to the front, to the front. Beautiful, to the front, to the front. Yeah, so kind of like a degage, but you're hitting the floor. Yeah, from there. We're slowly gonna pull that leg up to passe. I'll do it with you. And we're gonna hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, yeah? Making sure we're working on those rotators, pushing that knee all the way out to the side, yeah? All right, here we go. Here we go. Tondu, we go forward and first, side. Good. Other foot. En croix. Good. Now dégagez. We go forward. Side. Back. Side. Another foot. Dégagez. Dégagez. Good. And frappe. One. Two. Three, four, beautiful, other side. One, turn that knee out, two, three, four. And slowly we go coupe, passe, pull that leg up, don't stickle that foot, hold those arms. Beautiful, push that knee out to the side. Another foot, we go coupe, keep going, keep going, even if the music stops. Hold those arms, knee out to the side, and relax. Beautiful, you guys. Good, take a deep breath. We have one more combination. We're gonna work on those batmans, and then we're gonna take the bar away and do a little bit of center floor, yeah? So, batmas. Batma means to kick, right? We talked about this a little bit last week if you took class. If not, completely fine, I'll review it. But when we're doing a batma, I want us to focus on keeping that leg turned out. Yes? So that leg should stay turned out the whole entire time. So you're pushing that heel forward as you're kicking all the way up. Yeah? Try not to use this big quad muscle to help yank it up, okay? Keep it turned out, kind of like we practice with our tendus and our degages. So our hands on the bar, we're in first position for this routine. I want us to keep our arm all the way out to Alice to the whole time, yeah? We're gonna do four grand bat mas to the front, yeah? So one, first, two, and three, and four, then to the side four times. One, two, three, four, to the back, which is derriere, four times. One, two, three, four, and to the side four times. One, two, three, four. From there, we're gonna do our coupe. Pull it up to passe. And this time, I want us to practice that arabesque. So we're gonna stretch that arm in front of us, stretch that leg behind us, and think of your arm and your leg pulling opposite ways, yeah? So you're lifting that leg, really squeezing and pinching that back so that leg could get all the way up. And your arm, we're not so stressed with that arm, we're relaxing that shoulder and reaching through your fingertips, yeah? So let's go over it one more time. We have four grand bat to the front, 
four ground butt mods to the side, four to the back, four to the side, and then we're gonna do our balance. Coupe, passe, arabesque. Yeah? We'll do that on both sides. And then we'll put the bar away. Ready? Here we go. A little too fast. Here we go. And arms out to the side. We go. One, two, three, four. To the side. One, two, three, four. To the back. One, two. Beautiful. And back to this side. One, two, three, four. Balance. We go coupe. Passe. And reach. Hold, hold, hold. Lift it up higher. Beautiful. And go ahead and relax. Good job. So when we do our batmas, we want to make sure we're not pulling on our bar or whatever we're using for our bar. And also, once again, our upper body matters, right? So we're not yanking our upper body forward or to the side, or we're not cranking it down when we go to the back, right? This upper body stays lifted the whole entire time. Yeah? All right. Let's go ahead and try the other side. Here we go. Good. Let's go ahead and put those bars away. Good. Now's a good time to take a sip of water if you need it, but we're going to go ahead and go across the floor next. Yeah. So make sure you have enough room to go side to side or you could go forward to back. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. As long as you're going across a floor. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go side to side. Move this. So, today we're going to practice our piques. Yeah? Everyone say pique. Good. Pique means to poke or to prick, right? So, essentially, if we were doing it to the side, it would go pique, 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 right? Or the other side, pique, 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 right? So, piques across the floor, or as I like to call them, big girl piques, we're actually poking the floor to pull it up to a passe, okay? So, we're gonna keep those hands on our hips. We're gonna take a nice demi-plie. We're gonna brush this leg out, and we're gonna pique the floor. Now, as we poke that floor, this other leg is gonna pull up to a passe, so we go pique, and then you come back down and try it again. Pique, and down. Pique, and down. Pique, and down. Yeah? Good, okay, so if we were to go the other side, it would be your other leg. Start in that demi-plie, point that toe, and lift it up to go pique and down. Pique and down. Pique, pique, yeah? Let's try those first, and then if we get those pretty good, we'll make them a little bit harder and we'll start to turn with them, okay? Let's do it. Here we go, hands on your hips. We go. Pique. Beautiful. Point those toes. Then 
those legs out to the side. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, other side, hands on those hips. Take a demi. Point that foot, we go. Pique, down. Pique and down. Pique, down. Pique. Beautiful. Go ahead and shake it out. Okay, so now we have our PK turns. Those were pretty good, so let's try those turns. For your PK turns, I want you to keep your hands on your hips, yeah? Because it can get a little confusing with your spot. For now, since I am going from side to side, I am going this way, right? Which means I need to look at this wall, or in my case, it's a mirror, okay? Everyone repeat after me, say spot. Beautiful. So a spot means you keep your eyes on one thing and one thing at all times and you never leave. So if I were to spot you, I would turn and I would snap that head and I would keep spotting you as fast as I can, right? So my spot is where I'm going. I'm going this way, right? So I'm gonna do my pique and I'm gonna turn towards that foot and spot my wall. Just like that. Beautiful. Try it again. So we go. Pique, turn. Pique, turn. Yeah? Making sure you're spotting. If you are not spotting, you are going to start going in crazy diagonals, squares, triangles, circles, and you're going to get dizzy as well. Yeah? So let's practice those PK turns with the music and really, really, really focus on spotting and going in a straight line, okay? Here we go. Hands on those hips. Look your way. We go. Pique. 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 Beautiful. Now to the other side. Hands on those hips. Sit up nice and tall. Look your spot. Here we go. Pique. Spot. Pique. Pique. Beautiful. Go ahead and shake it out, shake it out. Gorgeous. Nice PK turns, yeah? Really think about those and practice those because those are actually a really nice move that we use in a lot of styles like jazz, lyrical, contemporary. We do it in musical theater. It's a really good move to always know and have in your pocket, yeah? All right. Let's work on those grand jetés from the corner. We are going to do two balances, one chasse, one step, and a big grand jeté, yeah? Grand jeté means a big leap. So our legs should be all the way in the splits, right? So before we get started with these grand jetés, guess what we have to do? Our splits, correct, yeah? Let's all get on the floor and let's stretch out those splits really quick. Up on those knees. Keep those toes pointed. First leg goes forward, hands down, and slowly slide down. Beautiful, make sure those shoulders are down. All the way, straight legs, pointed toes. Beautiful, and shake it out. Back to your knees. Gorgeous, and other foot, hands down. Slide that foot forward. Notice how it's already pointed. Watch that foot and make sure it stays pointed all the way down. Good, and we hold. Point those feet. Gorgeous, shake it out. Let's stretch those hamstrings really quick because we are using that hamstring to pull that leg up. Stretch those feet forward. Arms up. And all the way forward. Good. And flex those feet up to the sky. Arms up. And reach forward and grab those feet and pull them back. Shoulders down. Good, shake it out. All right, let's do some leaps. You have a balance, a balance, a chasse, step, leap, yeah? Your balance is a three step, so it goes to the side, to the back, to the front. 
Notice how I'm pointing those toes every time I take a step. Side, back, front. Side, back, front. That's your balance day, right? Hands, I always tell my kids to act like they're scooping ice cream with it, yeah? A nice gentle scoop. So we go, balance, say, balance, say, point that foot for a nice big chasse. You have one step and your grand jeté. Your arms are right here. That way the audience can see your face. Yeah? We often get confused and we do this, which I cannot see your face from there. Yeah? Change it. Shoulders down, chin up, and a big smile always makes your leap look a lot better. One more time. We go. Balance, balance, say, big shot, say, step, leap. Yeah, we want to do that two times on the left side, two times on the right side. Yeah, here we go. Ready? Five, six, nice and slow. Balance, balance, chasse. Step, leap. Beautiful. Run back. One more time. Always start in a nice, pretty position. Arms on the block. Here we go. Balance, say. Balance, say. Shock, say. Step, leap. Beautiful. Good job, dancers. Check it out. Let's do the other side. Let's go over it really fast. We go towards the wall. Yeah? Balance, balance, one chasse, one step. Notice how my step is nice and turned out and a big grand jeté. Look at these arms. Make sure I could see your pretty face. Yeah? One more time. We go. And towards the back, towards your audience. Chasse, step, grand jeté. Yeah? Let's do it two times. Here we go. Really get those leaps up there. I want to see a full split. Here we go. Point that foot. Five, six, seven. Go ahead and try it one more time. Arms. Six, seven, and. Beautiful. Gorgeous dancers. Very good job. We have two more things to do before we go. Yeah? One's called Allegro. Can you repeat after me and say Allegro? Good. And the second one's called Adagio. Say Adagio. Good. So one means fast and one means slow. And basically, they're both used in the center. It's basically doing bar, but without the bar. Yeah, does that make sense? So it's almost like you're balancing in the center. Allegro is fast. It's our jumps. It's our sautés. It's our échappés, yeah? It's how we do a change ma. Very good, yes. That's your allegro. So that's called allegro. Adagio is the hardest one, yeah? And that's basically super slow. And you're thinking about your extension. So basically how long you could hold a passe and extend it out to the side, yeah? We're doing some rond de jambes, yeah? So we're gonna start with our allegro and then we're gonna do our adagio, yeah? Nice little adagio to end the class and we'll end it with a curtsy. Yeah, here we go. Allegro, we're gonna start in first positions. I wanna see eight sautés in first, yeah? Sauté means to jump. So you're squeezing those legs straight, pointing those toes eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna do eight sautés in second position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I wanna see eight changements, yeah? A changement is coming from fifth position, yeah? In case you haven't learned this yet, 
Change ma means to change, yeah? So you're changing your feet. So if my right leg's in front, I'm gonna demi plie, and I'm gonna jump and switch my legs in the air to the other foot to be in front, yeah? That's called your change ma, change ma. Good, we're gonna do that eight times, yeah? Then we'll take a little break for a second, okay? So you have eight sautés in first, mm -hmm. then eight sautés in second, very good. Then we have eight change ma's from fifth position, yeah? Guess how many times do we have to do that? Two times. I think you can relax, or I think you will last, yeah? We'll take a break after the first time. Here we go. Nice and slow. First position, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, shake it out. You got it. One more time. Here we go. First position. Five, six, one, two. Pushing. I know it burns. Sit. Good. Shake it out. Whew. It burns, huh? Shake those legs out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. One more time, deep breath in, and deep breath out. Very good. All right, our very last exercise. Miss Marley's out of breath, I'm sorry. We are going to do our adagio, yeah? So our center floor work is nice and slow, okay? From first position, hands on those hips. Gorgeous. We're gonna do two round de jambes. So we go to the front first all the way to the back. And we're gonna close in that fifth position. Good. So, again, we start at the front, all the way to the back, and close. Good. Then we have the other foot. Boop. Good. And round the jump, and back. Good. From there, you have to reverse it. So back, round the jump, front, and back, round de jambe, front. Yes, so two round de jambes backwards, then two round de jambes forwards. From there, you're gonna slowly pull that leg up to a coupe and then to a passe, yeah? Really think about dragging that leg or that foot up your leg. My ballet teacher growing up always told me if there isn't a mark on your tights, that makes a big dark gray line. That means your foot did not drag up your tights, right? Yeah, so we're slowly gonna go to coupe, passe, very good. And we're gonna rotate our passe to the side, this little corner, and we're gonna show our arabesque, yeah? Your arabesque, I want this front arm reaching forward, and instead of this arm forward with it, I like it back, yeah? From here, we haven't done this before in beginning advanced ballet or probably any of my ballet classes, but I think it's worth a try today. We're gonna practice our ponche, yeah? So it's kind of like a needle, which most of you know, but without your hands. So we're in arabesque, and we're gonna squeeze that leg up and keep our chest up and come back up, yeah? That's your ponche. Almost think of it like a little dip. Gorgeous, yes. All right, from there, we're gonna go back to first position. Good job. And then we have our other side, yeah? So notice how this leg started your rond de jambes first. Now this leg starts your rond de jambes. So we go, hands on your hips, rond de jambes to the back, rond de jambes to the back, then reverse, rond de jambes to the front, rond de jambes to the front. Good. 
That front leg pulls up. Pa coupe, passe. Rotate it, turn that supporting leg out. Arabesque, and we do a little ponche, and back to first, yeah? From there, we'll do a nice little curtsy. Just follow along with Miss Marley, okay? Thumbs up. All right, here we go, first position. If you get lost, I'll talk you through the whole thing, or you can watch me while you do it, but it shouldn't be too hard. Squeeze those feet and those muscles. Very last exercise, try the best you can and just enjoy it. Ready, hands on those hips, we go. Beautiful, follow my lead. And take a curtsy. Back to first, we go. Round the jump, cross it back. Good job, dancers. Give yourselves a round of applause. Very beautiful class today. Thank you for dancing with me and working so hard. Um, I hope you guys are taking lots and lots and lots of classes, yeah? And I hope to see you guys soon, okay? But amazing job, give yourselves a big clap. Can we give ourselves a big hug? And can we yell, I'm awesome! Beautiful, all right, high fives on three. One, two, three, high five. All right, bye dancers.